And let's get Linus Torvald's thoughts on why he's still excited to be working on the Linux kernel after decades and why sometimes it can take a very long time to develop a specific portion of the kernel and the challenges that come with managing thousands of people contributing to a project, including talks of finally receiving the real-time kernel patch after 20 plus years. Here's a recent conversation that Linus had with Dirk, who is the head of the open source program office at Verizon. Let's get into why Linus is still excited to be programming in the kernel after all of these years. 33 years of Linux, it's pretty cool. Uh, how exciting. You released 6.11 yesterday. Yep. What's, what's interesting? What should people know about 6.11? I don't think we, I mean, for the last almost, well, not, not 20 years, but 15 years, we've had a very good regular cadence of releases. And it has resulted in the fact that we're doing, I'm doing the releases every roughly nine weeks. Uh, and uh, that means that releases are not exciting and they're not supposed to be. <laughs> they are uh, timely and they are hopefully very reliable, but exciting is not, I think, the goal. Um, so for me, the excitement of doing a release is that now, the day after, we're doing all the new code for the next release, and that's, that's the, the fun part, although not so fun necessarily when you're traveling. <laughs> yeah, so you decided to do the merge window on the road while traveling. And for those who are checking online, while we were waiting back there, he was doing merges on his laptop. So it is just-in-time delivery of, of the Linux kernel. But overall, if we look at trends, for many years we've had mostly drivers, a lot of file systems, some hardware support. So where, where is most of the code coming from these days? Well, it's, it's always been mostly drivers. I think more than half of the kernel is driver support. I mean, that's literally the point of a kernel. Most people should not care if, unless you're a kernel developer, because what the kernel does is abstract out all the hardware details. And uh, obviously, some of the hardware details are the actual CPU architectures and things like that. But in the end, we only have, what, 12 architectures? I forget, right? <laughs> but we have thousands of drivers. So every single release, the bulk of the changes are, are just new hardware support for drivers and, and fixes for old hardware support for drivers. And, and that kind of goes without even being hugely mentioned. I, I do tend to, when I make releases, I, I do the statistics of which driver areas are the major ones. But honestly, the excitement is, and I, it's, at least for me, it's the very core kernel. And I have been doing this for literally a third of a century now. And I'm still surprised by the fact that we're doing very core development uh, like half the stuff I've merged today has been fairly low level virtual file system code. And, uh, and a, a lot of the discussions have been about still memory management and, and things that have been around forever, but the continued expansion of the hardware base, but also the continued expansion of the user base means that we're still doing very core development in, in, in all these areas that you would expect to be ready after a third of a century. So are we getting the new scheduler this time? Yes. Okay. So I have that in my pull queue. Um, I'm probably not going to get to it today. And tomorrow is the kernel maintainer summit. So I may not get to it tomorrow either, but, but it's in the queue. Um, a lot of the core developers are actually here. Well, some of the kernel core de developers are here. So I, I got a lot of the pull requests early last week. And a number of the developers said, hey, I'm sending this early because next week I'm going to be traveling and I don't want to do development. So 
I'm stuck with that part. <laughs> so, so one of the exciting things that also is happening this year is the celebration of the real-time Linux project finally being completely in the kernel after a very brief development cycle of about 20 years. Yeah, I don't actually, I don't think I have the pull request for the final bits in my mailbox yet, but I'm expecting that to happen this week. So, I mean, some feature, and I keep saying this, that people think that kernel development is very quick because every release schedule, uh, release, and we do that every three months or so, we have between 10 and 15,000 commits going into the kernel. So there is a lot of development going on, but a lot of it has been is stuff that is now ready and it may have been developed over months or years or in some cases decades. Uh, so while kernel development is very active, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can get a new feature or file system or, or anything into the kernel very quickly. There's often a, a long development period that people seldom even see because it happens not exactly in private, it is being discussed on the mailing list and things like that, but you don't, you don't kind of see the background work that goes into a lot of these things that then suddenly appear in the next kernel. 20 years is still a 20 years is long way, time. yeah, that's very <laughs> unusual. Uh, we definitely have had, I mean, the, the issue with the real-time patches is that they've been touching every single area in the kernel, and that tends to be when, when you have issues and where it takes longer to integrate because you have to convince all the people involved and you have to get all the drivers updated and you have to just do a lot more work if you're not able to compartmentalize the code into one specific area. But uh, there isn't really anything else that compares to that. There isn't another 20-year project that's no. happening. No, there. I yeah. think RT Linux has been, I mean, it's famously been, <laughs> been in the works for a very long time. Thanks to the Linux Foundation for hosting this event and conversation. If you want more of this video or you found this conversation interesting between Linus and Dirk, check out the link in the description below. It looks like a bulk of the changes in the kernel are still being made in the driver space to support new and old hardware. The core of the Linux kernel is still what Linus loves to work on, including fairly low level code and memory management, all to support advancements in hardware and the user base. Let's hope for another great 30 years of continued Linux development. It's great to see Linus still excited after all of these years and day-to-day -day contributing and maintaining the Linux kernel. What are your thoughts on programming for such an extended period of time? Do you think you could stick through something for decades and decades? Got an example of something? I'd love to hear it in the comments section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.